Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to the first entry in what's hopefully going to become a regular series. I've been learning German on and off for quite some time now, but this year I really want to achieve fluency or come as close as I can. Uh, right now I guess I'm around intermediate level, but I lack that last push, that one thing that's going to help me achieve my goal. I've been trying different methods to different levels of success, but I couldn't really stick to any of them. I was thinking about it and I remember how I learned English and to be honest I can't really remember how. I never really studied it, I just kind of, like probably many of you, absorbed it through YouTube games and so on. And uh, then uh, trying to find different new methods or ways to achieve my goal, I came across Stephen Krashen and his method. It says that you need to read a lot of comprehensible input, meaning interesting input, the one that you'll even forget is in a different language. And after some time, you'll know your way around language. No grammar, no word lists, and speaking is a byproduct of that work. So sounds quite intriguing and fun. No one really wants to sit and learn word lists, even though I like grammar. So I wanted to give it a try. There's a magazine that I use that I have access to called Deutsch Aktuell. It looks like this. It has uh, many articles on various topics such as culture, science, uh, politics, travel, you name it. And uh, most importantly, they also it also has MP3s provided to these articles, so I can also listen to the article being read. What's cool about this one is that whenever you have an article, I know if you can see that, you also have highlighted words and translations of these words, so you don't have to look for a dictionary. It makes the job of reading it e easier. And what's cool about it is that I tried to find interesting content, fun content in German, but it seems like that everything fun is in English, from streamers to YouTube to documentary series, movies, everything fun seems to be in English, or maybe because it's easier for me. But with, uh, you know, this many articles, this many magazines and articles, there's a lot to choose from. So hopefully I'll stick to it. And uh, also I'll keep a record of hours spent on those activities, get a rough estimate of how much time I'm spending on it. I'm not gonna tr actively trying to memorize every word or if I don't understand it for context I'll read it five times, maybe look up a word and uh, try to remember the words through constant exposure, so yeah. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll try do, doing weekly updates. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So, yeah. Thanks.